All right, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about five fall fragrances under $40, okay? So these are gonna be killer fall fragrances that I would recommend to anybody. They can be as low as say $15 and they're, the top end is gonna be $40 at a discounter, of course, okay? So let's get right into it, okay? We're looking for uh, warmer fragrances, meaning they have kind of more spices to them, lots of vanilla, maybe tobacco, amber, some woods in them, that sort of a thing. So not, not very fresh um, and, and a little bit heavier so that it can kind of cut through that cooler air as it's been cooling down lately. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's, let's uh, look at the first one, okay? So the first one, you guys may not have actually heard of this one, but this is Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. Um, it is very similar to Spice Bomb. If you've ever smelled Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, great fragrance, by the way. Um, but this one was only $15, and this is 125 mils, I believe. No, this is 100 mils. Um, so yeah, it's got cranberry, it's got a lot of cinnamon in it, it's got some vanilla in there. Um, and it actually doesn't have a Fragrantica page, but if you search around on the internet, you'll find that it has a couple of websites that'll tell you the notes. Um, you don't get too much of the cranberry, but you do get a certain fruitiness to the spiciness that is really nice. Um, but in the end, it ends up smelling pretty much exactly like Spice Bomb, if, you've, uh, if you're a fan of Spice Bomb, the original, of course. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. I haven't done a full review on this one before, but it is a banger and for a good price. Um, yeah, I picked this one up for around $15 at um, a discounter. I believe it was TJ Maxx. Um, so sometimes you'll see these coming in and out. Most of them aren't very great. Um, I like the original one um, just because it has sort of a positive memory association with it. Um, it. It was my first fragrance, the Beverly Hills Polo Club Classic. Um, but other than that, it's not actually a very well put together fragrance. I think that this one is probably the best of their entire line, okay? So that's the first one. Very nice, warm, spicy, okay? Next one, right around $20, we got Rayanne Tradition Insurrection, okay? So that's the one with that little kind of lock and key sort of mechanism. Um, lots of vanilla in this one. It is a vanilla bomb. It's got a lot of amber in there, a lot of cedar, a little bit of spiciness too. Um, and the spiciness comes off in a certain way that is sort of uh, fresh, almost like a, a warm, the warm spiciness that you would see in a toothpaste. Um, but I think it's a very well done scent and the the presentation of it is pretty cool. Even though it is plastic, it's uh, very interesting because it is kind of a longitudinal design instead of just a, uh, or a lateral design, sorry, rather, um, than sort of what, you, what you're used to having a, a pillar of fragrance. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, overall the scent though is probably at least an 8.5 out of 10. Very warm, it definitely cuts through the fall air um, and you could definitely pull this off in the winter time as well because it has that certain amount of spiciness to it, that warm spice. Okay, so right around $20. Next one, you guys have seen the review for this one, Roberto Cavalli Womo. okay? Lots of violet, lots of honey, okay? That sweetness is gonna be really what you're looking for in this fall kind of transitional period as it starts to cool down. Um, a lot of the fresher fragrances, they're just not gonna cut through the air and they're just not gonna be very refreshing, especially because what we want right now in this cold air is we want something kind of warm to give a little bit of contrast, a little bit of warmth to, uh, to your scent. So this one is really nice. Um, it's got a nice woodsy notes in the base, um, but the main hard hitters are gonna be that, that nice fine violet and the honey, the honey comes through really nicely. They did a good job with it. It wasn't like sickly sweet or anything like that. Very great fragrance. This comes in around $40 at a discounter, okay? This is their most popular of the Womo line as far as reviews on Fragrantica. Um, so next one, right around $39. We got Dolce & Gabbana the one. This is the Eau de Toilette though, okay? I know that the Eau de Parfum gets a little bit more clout on the internet these days, but I'm a fan of the original, the, uh, the Eau de Toilette. 
Very nice presentation. Of course, it's D&G, so they do a good job. Nice metal cap. Great presentation. This thing has some, uh, some nice tobacco notes in it, some great woods in it, a little bit of spice, just enough to kind of get you, get you out there. I will say the performance on this one is lacking, and it's known for that, okay? It is known not to be very uh, projecting, which is unfortunate because it's such a well done scent. It's so well blended. Um, I think that the tobacco note of this one is the most noticeable. It's the most like purely done. Um, I think this is a great fragrance. I just wish that the performance was a little bit better, but that's okay. So $39. So this is, this, these are all pretty office safe. Um, this one, actually this one is pretty office safe as well. This one might be a little bit polarizing because you know, it is the spice bomb. It's very spicy. Um, I think maybe this is one that you might want to kind of unleash outdoors because it does have great performance. Um, the performance of these two are around average, I would say. <coughs> Sorry, I would say the performance of these two are around average. And then the performance of Dolce & Gabbana, the one is slightly below average, okay? So last but not least, the fifth fragrance under $40, coming in at around $15, guys. Actually, this one was around $16 at a uh, fragrance discounter. This was a uh, fragrance net, I believe, is where I got it for around 16. It's Animal Animal, okay? This is Animal Animal for men. It's an Eau de Toilette, 100 milliliters. You can see on the back right here, there's the juice, nice and warm. Um, it's great honey, great tobacco in here. Mainly just honey tobacco, some woods in it, a little bit of spice, not too much. It's mainly going kind of that honey route, sort of like the Roberto Cavalli Uomo, okay? So it gets that sweetness. Decent projection, decent longevity, okay? It's using a little bit of those kind of heavier molecules, so it will last pretty long on your, uh, on your body. This one, again, won't last super long, and, and we already talked about the, pro the projection of it. But uh, yeah, the Animal actually lasts a long time. It's got some great honey and tobacco notes in it, and I got it for around 16 bucks, so you can't beat the price point. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. That was my first installment of the 5 Under 40 series that I, I kind of want to start doing. Um, I'm just going to be going through five different fragrances that will fit a certain category that I think you guys would really like and I would totally recommend for you guys. Uh, let me know what you think of the series in the comments. Um, so yeah, this will be the first of many. Yeah, 540. All right, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.